life is short. We don't have a minute to lose. Our destiny is determined by the past that we choose. And I hate to be labeled as the bearer of bad news, but before you know it, this life will be over real soon. Too busy buying things to impress and act cool. Too caught up chasing Dunya being Shaitan's tool. He made you lose focus and he played you like a fool. But don't sweat it, repent it, make Toba and renew. The connection with your Lord, Al Rahman, Al Rahim, the one who created you and blessed you with everything. The time to seek forgiveness is now. No guarantee we can do it later. Even if you stacked your sins to the sky, his mercy will still be greater. Shaitan reminds you of your sins, hoping you don't forget it. But when he reminds you of your past, remind him of where he's headed. See, unlike you, he's done and no longer has a chance. But we'll never change our future if we're too busy living in the past. If you're about to engage in haram acts, take a moment, reflect, and ask, what if I died right now and this act will be my last? You see, death can be ignored, but it can never be neglected. The deed you die upon is how you'll be resurrected. Every soul shall taste death. Guess that's why so many on a diet. We share on Facebook so easily, but with our book of deeds, will we share it or try to hide it? Following Allah's command is truly imperative. This deen is a blessing, not a burden, because for every haram, there's a halal alternative. Alhamdulillah, we have a religion which encompasses both faith and rationality. So tell me what do you value more, your deen or your nationality? Nationalism strives to divide and create a false sense of superiority, but Islam gives us true honor and focuses on unifying humanity. None of us are perfect. By nature, humans are prone to make mistakes. That's why pencils come with erasers. But the best of sinners are those who repent and seek forgiveness from their creator. Every time we fall is another chance to rise and learn from our mistakes. We're breathing this moment, but at any moment, it could be too late. If Allah hasn't given up on you, why would you give up on yourself? Allah is the best of listeners. All we have to do is sincerely ask for help. Forget all the haters, because people hate what they don't know. Regardless of Islamophobes, this deen will continue to flourish and grow. Even in the past, so many tried to stop it, but all of the prophets were non-profit. 2020 vision, but you still can't see. Terrorism and Islam are two completely separate things. Ignoring the signs from your Lord when they're clearly evident, just because you have a smartphone doesn't mean you're intelligent. No matter what they say, Islam's here to stay. Shahada's on the rise, people waking up every day. Alhamdulillah for this deen and the honor it contains. Every day we're blessed to breathe is an opportunity for change. Let's be proud of our identity. The teachings of this deen weren't meant to be kept underground, cause sooner or later, we'll all be underground. Until then, we strive to promote this way of life. One chance to do it right, but you only live twice. So before the transition begins and we become one with the dirt, let's strive to be like Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the greatest man who ever walked the face of this earth.